Hi guys. So, um, um, the past few days, my, uh, past couple days actually, my bulimia has been out of control. And I can't tell you how excited I am for Saturday because I really need it. I need to be reminded right now why I'm doing this, who I'm doing this for, why I'm doing it for myself. Because I feel myself slipping every day, just a little bit more slipping back into where I used to be. And I'm like... I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I don't know what brought this on. I'm sitting right now in my kitchen, obviously. My favorite place in the world. Um, and I remember when we first moved in here, just a month or two, like a month and a half ago, I think. Um, I was so excited every single day. I would, every night before bed while I was waiting for my food to be cooked or while I was chopping my watermelon or whatever, I would just come in here in my kitchen and clean and organize and be so happy to do that and like have this pep in my step and this energy to take care of my very own house now and I don't know where it's going and it's like it's kind of like a stupid because it's like I am feeling really self-conscious and very nervous about meeting people right now because I am kind of um, struggling with BDD right now, body dysmorphic disorder. As you guys know, it's coming back hard for me. Um, and it's coming back harder than it's ever been. All day today, everybody that I came across or everyone I saw on TV or like, no matter where I was, everybody in the world is so beautiful. And I feel like I'm like an ogre, like I feel hideous and that's stupid. Like I was starting to believe that I was beautiful for a while there and, and now that's going away too. And it's ironic because I, you know, the eating disorder part of me is like, oh, I gotta lose weight by Saturday. I gotta lose weight by Saturday. I got to get back down so that I don't know why. Why? Who am I doing that for? You guys don't care. I don't, my family doesn't care. Who am I doing for? The asshole in my head, that's who. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, it's ironic because, so my eating disorder is super triggered the past few days because I'm so nervous and anxious my mom and thinking that maybe I'll lose a few pounds if I do that, which I never do when I'm bulimic. I don't lose weight when I'm bulimic. Most bulimics don't. Um, but we do kind of like do it to keep our weight steady sometimes. And um, it's just ironic to me because now I see myself in videos and when, I'm, when I watch back my videos, I can see what I really look like. When I look in the mirror, I see something completely different. Um, but usually when I watch my videos back, I'll be like, oh, okay, I don't look as bad as I thought I did, blah, blah, blah. But the past few days, I, I know that this is not my BDD. I know that my face is swollen. Way it looks like when I started my channel, my face was super swollen because I would be binging and purging three times a day. Is that another effing spider? We're like infested with these spiders that I have never seen in my whole life. I don't even know what they are. Wait, is that one? That might be a different bug. I need to check because if it's the spider, I wanna show you and ask if you know what it is. That was on a spider. That was like a little moth or something. So I just let him go. Anyway, um, so it's so stupid that Ironically, I was trying to like make myself look better and thinner in my face and my body, but binging and purging makes your face bigger and 
why do we do this to ourselves? I'm so effing mad. My fries are not done, but it's preheated. That's good. I, I'm just like, really? So right now I just know that um, I'm like, I, I need this. I need Saturday badly. And I'm so grateful for all of you that are going to come. And that, like, I feel really blessed that... Just that people I've never even met, I've never known in my life, are just picking up and flying here or driving here or... People I haven't seen since high school and junior high are going to come and, like family that I don't get to see often, like, it just makes me feel really special. And just really grateful because until I met Danny, I never really felt worth anything. I never felt proud of myself. And he's taught me so much about that, but I never really truly started being proud of myself until I started this YouTube channel and carried through with it and didn't give up because I usually give up on things. Um, I don't know, I'm just feeling really hurting and grateful at the same time. Like I really just, um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can get me to cry when you come, those that are coming. I mean, I'm kind of tearing up, but I need a good cry session. <laughs> it's so hard for me to cry, and that's frustrating too. See, that's making me choke up too. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess right now. Oh. Anyway. This bulimia bug is a bitch. Sorry, family, for swearing three times already in this video. It's actually a new goal of mine. I'm gonna try and swear, not swear, so that my nieces and nephews can watch. Crap, well. Sorry, nieces and nephews. Like, look at my face. That's not BDD, I look ginormous. Oh my gosh, and like, and I probably don't look as bad as I think I do. I'll watch it back after this and see, but <laughs> my body right now, I don't know why I care. What, what is this? What is, oh my gosh. Like, why can't I just be like humble and grateful and take it for what it is and not be freaking out like, oh, no one's gonna like me if I look like, if they see that I've gained 30 pounds because they only see me from here up in my videos most of the time. So what are they expecting to see? And do I meet that expectation? Like, what the hell? You guys don't care about that stuff. None of you do, and those of you that do are not true Shani Bannies and are not here to help me and love me through this situation. So I don't know why I give that much power to either trolls or something that doesn't even exist. Where, where is that coming from? Like, so rude. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so over it. <laughs> and I've been over it for so long and it's just such a, horrible hard thing to beat completely so I guess I'm maybe that's why I'm so nervous for Saturday because I know I'm going to be seeing people that like Felicity and Dora and people that that have continuously told me on a regular basis that I've saved their lives Like, that is the coolest, like, the most amazing feeling in the world, and yet, I don't know, maybe it just has to happen for me to feel that way, like, to truly appreciate that, because that is so special and so cool, and I'm so lucky, so blessed. Um, I don't know what this is. I think um, I'm getting to a point right now, like I was talking to my neighbor that I told you guys about, Alicia, you're gonna meet her soon, by the way, and she'll be at the meet and greet, so you'll see her at least, you know, at some point in the video. 
of the meet and greet. You will see her. And then we're gonna do a video together soon too. But anyway, she's, um, I told you about her last time, like her dad was murdered when she was two years old. And she kind of spent her whole life unraveling the mystery of who did it to him and how it was done. And it's just so intriguing. And she's writing a book about it. I think she's done with the book, trying to get it published, blah, blah, blah. And so she volunteers at a lot of places that are like for women who have gone through trauma women with PTSD and she's like like she's going to a convention where Elizabeth Smart is gonna speak like that type of a thing and she was like so I know the lady in charge and they're looking for more speakers so I think you should speak and I freaked out you can ask her I was like no mm -mm, I'm not doing it I'm not doing it and I was like I'm not ready for that I don't want to do that blah 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 and then tonight I'm thinking to myself what I am so stupid. I keep saying that that is my goal in the future. Someday I want it to be where I'm traveling around to schools and conventions and meeting you guys and doing shows and book tours and all of these things. And yet I'm not like jumping on board to do it. Why? I have these opportunities that come to me. Um, my first one was like maybe it was like right after Day in the Life of the Bulimic came out. I don't even know when that was. Like a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, a lady from the Huffington Post called me or emailed me and said, hey, I want to do like a cover story on you. Are you interested in that? And everyone in New York reads that. Everyone back east reads that magazine. And I was like, I don't know. I'll let you know. And then I never got back to her. And like... I had the opportunity to get the word out there quickly and I turned, I hid from it. I got scared. So it's like, I don't know. I just, oh, I feel gross right now. Don't even look at me right now. I'm sorry. No, I don't. I'm beautiful and I'm worth it. And I've been like super depressed. That's the other thing. I've been really sad lately and just wanting to cry all the time, but I can't cry often. I suck at crying. I'm really hoping you guys will make me cry on Saturday. That would have really helped me out because <laughs> I need to cry. And every time I start, it just, it just gets swallowed up and I just like don't let it out because I don't know why, because I just don't, you know, it's, anyway just thought I'd turn on the camera and see what came out so I'm super grateful for you guys you know this obviously um and I guess I'm just I'll get through it I always do and you guys are the ones that bring me through it and I have, oh, and Danny is the other thing. He is the most wonderful human on earth. And he's been so wonderful to me this week. Like he'll just try and make sure I'm relaxing and preparing as much as I can because he knows how nervous I am and how anxious I am. And he's just been like extra sweet. And that boy loves me so much. And again, it's like, where, how did I get that lucky? Like I have so many wonderful people that love me and support me and yeah so I guess I just need to remind myself of that more and I'm sure I'll be reminded on Saturday but um I don't know yeah I don't know now I'm just rambling and saying the same thing over and over so anyway I love you guys thanks for listening to whatever this is um and then today when I don't usually post like it's probably going to be in like 12 hours from now, I don't know what time it is, but it's gonna be like during the day for me. I'm gonna post a video with specific details about the meet and greet if you're coming, so be sure to look out for that. Um, and Paul is gonna live stream it on his channel, so go subscribe to Paul right now, Paul D. Green, um, and that would be great. So I love you guys. Thanks for everything, and I'll talk to you later.